time for JP Roth and Don McTeague live stream right here. On it is, and we are currently now live. What's up, everybody? Hello. So um, I am the lucky guy here because I get to be live with these two lovely ladies uh, talking about lovely, amazing art uh, for this beautiful book that they've been publishing. I'm super excited that there's uh, they're doing an art book for it because I'm – as both of you know, I'm probably one of the biggest fans of the writing and the art and of Dawn's and oh my goodness, you guys are ridiculous. We're both <laughs> amazing. <laughs> so let's, I'm going to go ahead and, and just share the uh, Kickstarter and I'll let you guys talk about it as we scroll through it. If people are already supporting it, of course, thanks for the support. You guys are awesome. If you're not supporting it, you need to get in there because they're already telling me some secret squirrel stuff that's going on here. So you guys definitely are going to want to get in on this thing. I'm going to be pledging here in a little bit too. Aww, <laughs> thank you, Sean. So here is the Kickstarter. Um, there's a link in the video description as well. I put that in there. So once this is posted, you can just click on the link. And it'll take you right to the Kickstarter. Uh, don't be confused because it's uh, Don lives up in uh, the middle of nowhere in Canada. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so sometimes you may see uh, uh, Canadian money. Sometimes you might see American money. Uh, just be aware of whatever it is. Uh, well, the goals are unlocking in Canadian currency. So that's what's cool. kind of confusing. We'll be like, yay, we hit 80,000 and it says 66,000. So <laughs> we're unlocking them in Canadian goals. So when we get to the goals, you guys are actually at 83,000 Canadian, which is yes. awesome. So yes. you've crushed. So first off, congratulations. You have crushed your goal, which is Thank you. amazing. <laughs> amazing. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations, guys. So let's go down here. Uh, first off, for those of you who don't know, what is, what's a Divinica? What is Divinica, guys? Well, Divinica is a series um, that features goddesses from different pantheons of mythology. We tried to use as many cultures as we can incorporate. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. <laughs> um, it, we are on the fifth issue now where we've actually introduced the character Divinica and she is living in a torn world, memory is gone, time is broken, and she has to visit and travel through Firelight to go to the lives of these other goddesses and claim artifacts that she needs to bring back to save her world that's torn apart now. It's amazing art done in a number of mediums by Dawn. She's used watercolor, Copic, acrylic. We've so far visited Aphrodite, um, Nokomis from Native American mythology. We have Isis from Egyptian mythology, Magu from the Xing dynasty from Chinese mythology. And then of course the girl at the end there is our Divinica as we're starting to tell the story and weave it back through the other stories. These have all came out through uh, Diamond as well. Um, I know because I've bought all of them from my <laughs> store and sold them. So these have all been published through Diamond. Congratulations ladies on having a successful run on this comic. I know it's been your passion project for years and I love it. I'm so happy for this. This is great. So uh, number one, this looks like, so this is the art book. Now, just to be clear, this Kickstarter, you guys are doing the art book for Divinica, correct? Yes, yes. There is a comic book involved as well. Nice, nice. Yeah. So it's not just a bunch of pages of, like some people just use a bunch of pages of, art that's already been published a bunch of times. This is definitely not that. No, it's that nothing has like new, anything. New art, new prose from Joe, art notes, uh, even things from Joe about like more insight into the character or why she chose that particular goddess. It's it's really interesting. It has art in it that no one's even ever seen that draw, Dawn drew on a napkin and took a photo with of her phone, like just drew on a tiny piece of paper while we were thinking or whatever. Some of them were phone pics and that made it in here as well. I love that. Yeah, so it says right here, uh, original prose and poetry from JP, uh, behind the scenes art notes and expanded mythological information, which is super cool. I love it. I love the little notes getting inside the head of the writer to know like what inspired you to do this? Why did you pick this character? Those things are always super interesting to me. That was all done. She made me do it. 
<laughs> we all, as scary as it might be, JP, we all want to know what's in your head. <laughs> Beware. Uh, so this is, uh, so what kind of, Don, talk a little bit about what the medium did you use for, just as an example to your fans, what are, what are these drawn in, colored in? Uh, that does kind of go along a range because <laughs> I can't make up my mind and I want to try it all. <laughs> but um, we started with Copic marker. Um, and so the first two pages in all of those right there is all done with Copic. And then um, I started slowly adding in more um, tools and mediums. Basically the way it went is that Copic was the only thing I'd really used uh, professionally. Um, and then for each issue, we wanted to try to make sure that, you know, the art style kind of matched the style of the, the region or the history behind the character himself, itself, herself, themselves. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and so we, um, JP, who actually suggested that for the Magu issue, we try painting it in watercolor. And I'd never done that before. And she's like, well, learn. <laughs> so from there, watercolor just kind of got me going into the whole paint realm. So, you know, Divinica issue five was pretty much fully done in watercolor with a little bit of acrylic. And then for Divinica issue six, which we're working on right now, page one is done in acrylic. <laughs> page two is done in gouache. And page three is done in watercolor because I can't make up my mind. It has nothing to do with anything else. I'm just trying to see what, trying everything on to see which one fits for me, you know, but it's it's really fun. I do have a little bit of an art supply hoarding problem and this works out rather well. <laughs> I think it's great. I mean, uh, it's like the feel for the book, you get so much variety for it. Um, Every yeah. turn, if you turn the page, you're going to get something different, a different style, a different art. Uh, it doesn't get boring looking at it for sure. That's no one can ever describe your guys' books as boring for sure. They're they're oh, beautiful, uh, <laughs> fascinating. They're fantastic. Um, so what's this? Let's go through these different editions. What's the Skyclad edition? What is this? Go, John. Okay. Um, Basically, I mean, what how, how it says it there is probably the best way, um, but skyclad is like an ancient pagan term referring to ritual nudity during religious observances. And so we chose skyclad to be used as sort of our risque um, covers for the Divinica series. Um, and so really what skyclad means in the Divinica naked. universe is naked or <laughs> very, very little. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, women that were like Stonehenge, the, the Celtic goddesses that would worship at Stonehenge and chant for the time change. And then, you know, during the different solstices, they always did it skyclad. So it was actually Dan's idea, but a really beautiful way to honor the goddesses as well. And nudity features a lot when you're looking at mythology. So it was really nice to have. And Eric drew us this most gorgeous Isis cover just so beautiful. So we have his cover in all three stages for um, for it as well. With the deity tier, you can get Dawn's and Eric's full nude, which the full nude is gorgeous. Wow, that's great. Yeah, it's only recent to, only recently the nudity's become such a taboo thing. Um, yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, this is weird. Um, nice. So Skyclad Edition, 16 extra pages of risque artwork for 76 pages total. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. That's like three comics worth of content. Yes, it's so awesome. Yeah. And then we have the deity tiers that get yeah. you a lot of fancy stuff. We went kind of crazy with we did. dust jackets and slip covers, and it's going to be spot touch finish, uh, soft touch finish, you know, gold foil. It's just going to be gorgeous. So, and those books are actually like the 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 hardback of book itself is going to be wrapped in a canvas and oh, we are picking like this incredibly pretty canvas. So we're waiting for the, the swatches so that uh, Joe can pick the exact colors of the yeah. canvases that we're going to do, which is so exciting, but it's going to be uh, sparkly. It's going to glisten a little bit to just oh, be even goodness. more goddessy. And then it's going to have our stamp right in the yep. middle in foil. 
So these books are all foil stamped as well underneath the dust jacket. That's yeah. cool. You've always gone above and beyond as a publisher uh, <laughs> with covers, with exteriors, and it's- We're it's, fancy people. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I shouldn't be surprised that you're saying it's going to have a foil stamp and it's going to be sparkly and it's going to be this. And it's like, of course it is. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. So now this looks like it's so for $20, they're going to get the Skyclad edition tier two. No, no. Okay. Well, the no, no. Those aren't running at the same time. Oh, okay, okay. I'll say that. Skyclad is, I think, starts at a hundred dollars. Oh, so yeah, that's ridiculous. Twenty dollars. That's, that's the uh, the digital download. Oh, yeah, that was the gotcha, digital. Gotcha. Okay, got it. So all the pledges run down there. Skyclad tier four. That's the one that we really have. We have a hundred and two backers on that one. You guys are amazing. Yes. Okay, just trying to figure out what you, what you get here. So um, six extra pages. So Skycut art book with the ISIS bus. So that's the eBass cover. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the PDF of it. Great. So that's so 95, you're getting this one right here. That's right. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, no wonder why there's so many on that one. Plus, you're getting the Genesis comic book, which is a brand new comic series that we're starting that Dawn came up with all on her lonesome, which is everything previously on, but in all the is the thought going into it, why we put them there. It is the most gorgeous comic book and we unlocked the 22 pages. So that is also coming for free when you buy one of those deity tiers, right, Don? Any tier, uh, any physical backer will be getting the, the 24 page Genesis, yeah. And that's just a brand new gorgeous comic book. And that's the one that in backer kit, we're gonna have a very special set of Don McTeed covers for that new book and a very special set of eBass covers that you will only be able to get if you pledge Kickstarter. So that's also comes with this book. Wow. You'll see it if you scroll down a little bit. All we right. were very happy when we unlocked it. I'm, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm going a little slow here and creeping yeah, through, do it. Uh, enjoying the art in this. Uh, wow, amazing. So this is the uh, Skyclad the art book. Okay, and dust jacket, nice. So Don, with that 190, you get both of them, right? You get yours and Eric's art book set. Art that book one set. is art book set. So those ones are not the deity tiers that are the dust jackets and everything. You would get the Ebass bust and the um, Streams of Magic hardback cover. Now starts the dust jackets. Oh, okay, here we go. And so now this is the really special tier. This is starts the deity tiers. I think there's a 300, 300 Canadian dollar tier and uh, or 250 300 and 500 somewhere I'm, around there if i'm not mistaken <laughs> okay so yeah yeah the deity that's the deity edition they'll all the deity tiers so that's where it begins those are the best tiers to buy because you get everything okay just check that one more. so this is dawn's obviously here yep you got ebass is here four pro prints of your choice Frosted envelope with foil sticker. Oh my goodness. We also made beautiful calendars that are coming and now we just unlock the bookmarks. So you're going to get those too. All right. Fantastic. Oh, here's some. That's the one everyone wants, the $315 one, because that gets you <laughs> so much stuff. You get the art book and canvas and foil, dust jacket with the full ISIS eBass one, the calendar. Furl, four pearl prints. I can't wait to see those. I don't think I've seen a pearl print yet. They're um, gorgeous. Oh, yeah. I, well, I've seen the pearl covers. Um, I've seen some of those before on Eric's Mojo, I believe, but I've never seen a pearl print. I am very interested to see those. Daniel Asher, yes, they're all interiors done by Don. We only have a ISIS cover that's on the... Um, on the dust jackets that's done by Eric Basaldua. Fantastic. What's going on? Thanks for joining us, guys. Hello. All right, so uh, if you're joining us late here, this is the Div Art of Divinica, uh, which is a beautiful comic series. It's been put out by J.P. Roth and Don McTagg. Um, I highly advise you guys jump in this thing. Uh, these are limited tiers also. 
So this one's already uh, over half, about half done. The $315 one. Um, th these are 40. Yeah, so the limited ones you want to get in on these for sure. And we put oh. in much goodies. Uh, oh yeah, so we really about, went above and beyond. Let's talk yeah. about these, these big baller tiers here. So, oh, here we go, pearl prints. They're printed from uh, thick, high quality paper stock, beautiful pearlescent. <laughs> of course, I've never said that word before. That word before. <laughs> of course, I would say that word while I'm talking to you too. The pearlescent <laughs> shimmering effect. <laughs> Sparkly is the only way to describe them. They're so pearly. There's that's awesome. I never would have thought it. I would have said some guy word like super shininess or something. You guys <laughs> Age of Wisdom, Arrowhead, Branch and Blossom. Wow. Dream catcher. Flutter. Fantastic. Oh my goodness, these are all the prints to choose from? Yeah. Yes. Oh my and God, so many. A bunch of different tiers come with a certain amount of pearl prints that you get to pick then in the backer kit. So that's kind of your, your menu to choose from. And then like you get two or four or 10, depending on which tier you're at, and then you'll just be able to pick them in the backer kit. Wow. So this tier here, this super baller one, this is tier eight, 625. You get 10 pearl prints of your choice. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, there's ten. I would want without even thinking about it. Aw, Sean, yay! <laughs> Me too, Sean. No, no decisions required. Just yep, there's ten. That's easy. <laughs> <laughs> and the deity suite, which is the fancy, our fanciest offering on this one, is it comes with like both of the dust jacket fancy canvas books and all of that, they come in a slip case. So like you get a slip case for the them, case. you get the calendar, but we haven't discussed the calendar yet. So I'll wait on that. You get all the pearl prints. It's it's a fancy one. It's so, very the fancy. so the original art tiers, of course, looks like they're all sold out. Oh yeah, on the yes. first day in two minutes and 40 seconds, we funded Sean because everyone raced so hard to get those. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> It was amazing. Oh, Dawn cried and then she made me cry. And we yeah, were alive. It was all was very worst. happy. All the, always, <laughs> all the always are gone. Look at that. Damn it. I was too slow on these for sure. You missed the mark. I did. <laughs> That's all right. I have a couple Sorry, of Dawn. Sean. I have a couple of Don McTagg originals. Mm -hmm. so I'm okay with You'll that. be fine. I love the Skyfire Shores too, Daniel Asher. That is one of my favorite ones. Yeah. I'm gonna have to leave in like four minutes. Okay. Hopefully but I'll, I'll be able be to join the studio when I get back. But if you scroll down to the Genesis, I'll say my piece and oh. then I'll I'll peace out. Let's do it. <laughs> Bonuses. Okay, so here it begins. This is yes. Genesis. This is a complete sketchbook. We unlocked, so now it's 24 pages. It's got sky clad art, which is full nude, um, never seen before, Ebass cover sketch, which is gonna be inside the book that everyone is gonna get for free. Now in the backer kit, we're doing something really special where we're gonna have a set of Ebass books and a set of Don McTeague books with this comic book and some extremely special covers that only, which will be limited to 100 sets each. So 50 to each cover, I think, or 100 to each book. So, um, but that's only 100 sets each because you're going to get three in the set. And that's the only way you're ever going to get this EVAS cover. We're going to do a one-time thing, try and make it as special as we can. So even if you just pledge $13, you can still jump onto the backer kit to be able to chase this Ebass cover and these three beautiful Don McTeague covers, which are also incredibly gorgeous, naked, beautiful sky clad stuff. So, wow. Okay. Don, you can't show yours, right? No, because it's on. I shop. can't. Well, that's fine. We'll show later. <laughs> so this is a, a this a teaser of what the cover will look like from Eric, correct? That's right. That's the teaser of it. Wow. Just knowing what his finished stuff looks like, this already looks beautiful like this. I can imagine this. Yeah. The details he's going to put in those wings. Oh my goodness. It's going to look amazing. Yeah. 
Wow. Well, thanks for hanging out with us, uh, JP. We appreciate it. Um, Dawn's still going to be around here for a little while. Yeah. I mean, hopefully I'll have to take my son to school. Eric was supposed to do it, but he did a cover all night. So I have to run. That's how um, it goes. <laughs> but hopefully I'll be back and you guys will still be live. I I love you all. Thank you, everyone who sponsored. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Sean, for doing this for us. No, oh, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. All right. Bye, guys. Right. Drive safe. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Okay, bye. <clears throat> all right. So, Dawn, this is ridiculous. This is insane. Hey. This is so amazing. So, right now, the baller is tier available to anybody who wants to. That's the first thing I do is look at the baller's tier available. <laughs> That's so awesome, Sean. It looks like, I mean, usually though, you get the coolest stuff for the best value at the highest tier. So, you know, that's that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. I want, I want the coolest stuff at the best price. Um, okay, so it looks like the highest one left is 625, is that right? Yeah, Canadian, again. <laughs> okay, so only 500 bucks America. Correct. Sweet. And you get all this stuff. Yes. You, you get the art book and canvas and foil. Uh, so the deity one in the sky clad art book. Yeah. Dust jacket moon daughter with your cover. Dust jacket with uh, Eric's cover. And it's the only place that the full Isis nude paint, uh, piece is going to be on. So that's the only place in the Kickstarter that that cover is on. Oh, uh, I got um, so up here. Yeah. This one. So that one. Yes. So full nude. Yes. This one, the other two, you just get the zoom in, you get crop the in yes. of the jubils. Here you get the full Monty. Yes. That is fantastic. And you get the calendar, 10 yep. prints, frosted envelope. I just want <laughs> you guys, frosted envelope. <laughs> the okay. frosted envelope is my <laughs> personal hobby horse that I'm riding. So. If, if I ever put something out in a frosted envelope, I'd probably get my ass kicked. But you guys do it, and it's beautiful and amazing. <laughs> With the fancy gold sticker. I've been very, very specific. I want my gold sticker. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The art book in PDF format and, of course, the Skyclad art book PDF format, which is fantastic. I really like some people overlook the PDFs. I love the PDFs because I can just screenshot them all day and use them as backdrops on my phone whenever I want to. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, it's great. You can you can make your own little mini screensavers for your computer. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with the PDFs. It's really cool. It's like getting uh, free art to play with. That is so awesome. Yeah, I really like doing that stuff. So this is great. Um, let me see. I'm just going to pledge this right now while I want. Oh my God, Sean, that's so awesome of you. Canadian, I have a choice to change it, right? Yeah, we can't change it. Oh, that's okay. You only get charged American. Yeah, you get charged American. Oh man, I don't know what my password is. <laughs> Hopefully my computer remembered. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. No problem. So guys, get on and do the same thing. Go pledge your stuff. Yep. All right. Nobody steal my card info. It's all right there. Pledge. Here, let me just <laughs> just in case. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, congratulations on this, Don. This is Thank you. beautiful. It's amazing, guys. We have we have Don uh, hostage right now. Do you have any questions for her about anything? And thank okay. you again, Sean. No problem. Thank you break. for making this. Thank you for making this. So eight, you're up to 83,000 Canadian. So awesome. Great. Of course I'm going to tell all my friends, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so very much. Oh, well, I'm not. Let's put it to my story and my news feed. There we go. That is so awesome. Yay. I hope you love it, Sean. I hope you have so much fun with your sparkly canvases. <laughs> <laughs> there's been there's been nothing. Well, I have some space back here. I can replace uh, I can replace some stuff here with with some new. I have a lot of just pencil sketches. Uh huh. That are really cool, but they don't look really good in the live. So I can I have some space back here. I can replace replace. Some fun. <laughs> yeah, I want to bring all the pencils and inks home because that's why I appreciate them more. 
Yeah, you can see him better. Oh, Esteban wants to know if there's any other projects you can share with them. Well, I'm giving Sean a Vampirella cover. <laughs> we'll oh, see if he yes. uses that. <laughs> you know, any hey, anytime you throw me a cover, I am I love it. I am super <laughs> grateful for it, and I love publishing those. So, no, oh, you're so awesome. Yeah, it's so if, fun. If, if you guys ever want to, if you can, good luck, by the way, but if you ever can get on Dawn's commission list, <laughs> um, probably backed up, uh, who knows how long by now, but ask her to draw a Vampirella cover because it's probably going to wind up being published. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so People are starting to clue in on that too. <laughs> yeah. Then you'll own original piece of published work, which makes it worth even more. So um, that's, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah. That's really cool. All right, so I'm gonna, how do I get back to this, uh, to your home screen? There we go. All right, I wanna go look at the uh, unlocks also because the unlocks are really cool. Yeah, we're so excited about them, yay. Okay, so let's go all the way down here. These are at the bottom, right? Yeah. Okay, ooh, look, look at this. We didn't even get down to here yet. Okay, so unlocked. Uh, we get, oh man, we get two premium bookmarks uh, designed by uh, JP. Very cool. And they'll be double-sided with gold foil logo and, and titling. Oh my goodness. So this is going to be gold foil. Yeah, it's going to be gold foil. And then we're doing oh, the like soft oh, touch, soft touch matte finish on it. So they're kind of velvety smooth. <laughs> and... <laughs> You know, it says front and back, but, you know, it, of course, that's interchangeable. You can decide which is the front and the back as you see fit. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's so great. Okay, so we got those those coming, which is yeah. great. Uh, so at 90K. Canadian. Canadian. <laughs> let's add, oh, we're going to get, oh, man, we're going to get two more bookmarks, which is super cool. Yeah. And you know, these go beautiful with the hardcover art book. Sometimes it's weird to get a bookmark with a comic because you're like, I can kind of read it in one sitting. I don't need a bookmark. <laughs> but the bookmarks go really well, especially with a 120 page, oh, I'm sorry, 150 page art book. Yeah, the bookmarks are going to look fantastic with them. And also with the J.P. Roth's novels that are out. Little plug That's for the true. novel. That's true. <laughs> she, oh man, I forgot to even mention that when she was in here. She's she writes uh, novels, not just comics. She yep. published the novels of goddess type stuff. Um, okay, so and there could be another reward here once you guys hit a hundred k. Yeah. So we've got as far as the rewards right now, we have two eight and a half by eleven prints. We have the Genesis book, so that's the twenty four page sketchbook, and then we have the. Um, the bookmarks and then we're you know 100k is only known to the goddesses so <laughs> oh man well, no, you two it's going to be something totally ridiculous and amazing <laughs> yeah fantastic oh so have you played around with uh nfts yet you've heard what those are i have heard about them but no i haven't okay well i'm uh we can talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And one, one thing I want to make sure that people are aware of is because, you know, a desktop calendar does kind of sound like your computer desktop, like it's a file or something like that. But we are actually doing a physical calendar that goes on your desk or your dresser or your mantle or whatever you would like to do. And the calendar is approximately the same size as the art book and it has like a stand and so you can stand it up and we're making the pages double-sided so that Whoa, you know yeah. on one side if you scroll up a little bit sean it's right there so one side will have the i think a bit bit more the yeah, calendar sure. is up above the pearl prints yeah oh, right here okay, okay. 
So it, they're gonna, we, we are doing like custom rings so that the rings match in color and everything like that. The cover has gold foil on it. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing because it's so amazing the details you put into this. It's so- Oh, we're stressing about the ring color and the ring style <laughs> because it's important. It is. <laughs> I mean, you guys put so much thought into this stuff and it's, it's such, you know, people may be like, oh, 500 bucks for this or these tears are expensive. The quality that you guys put out, it's worth every penny. You're stressing about the color of the rings instead yes. of just going with the black plastic ones that anyone else would do. That's what I would do. I'd be like, who cares about the ring colors? You guys, that's probably, I can imagine you've had half hour long conversations about the rings. Longer, yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're trying to do, though, is like with the calendar, we want to make sure that like, you know, it's not just only for one year. Now, obviously, the dates change every year. There's nothing we can do about that. But what we've done is the front of the calendar, like one side of that page is going to have the dates and a really cool prose from JP Roth on each one. And the back side of the same sheet, or I don't know how it all works out, but the back side is going to be just one full piece of art. So it can switch from a calendar to an art display for 20 beyond 2022. That's great. So, so, and we are making a sky clad calendar that will be in the backer kit. Oh man. <laughs> that is so awesome. So it never, it never outwears its usefulness. Once the calendar is done, just yeah. flip it over and you have the beautiful piece of art. That's the plan. <laughs> We've never made a calendar before, but that's like really at the very beginning, the idea that we had with Divinica is that we wanted to make an art book with goddess information and a calendar. And then we went into the comic book series. So like, you know, five issues later, here we are with the calendar and the art book. And we're just so excited and having way too much fun with the finishes. <laughs> well, the more fun you have, the better, uh, more amazing stuff you're giving us. So not complaining at all. That's what this is supposed to be. Comics are supposed to be fun. I mean, this is this is great. They're fun, but I know the work you put into these. Thank um, you. I know the work you put into these. That's why it's almost impossible to get you to do any other covers because you're working on these beautiful covers <laughs> and interiors. I love the fact that the entire book is drawn in interior by you. Thank I you, Sean. It is really fun. I'm I'm having such a great time. I really am. And I'm learning a lot. That's what's also super cool about it. It's got it's got its own set of challenges, you know, and it's uh, it's really fun. I mean, you're getting not only, you know, let, let's be honest, some Kickstarter books, most comics, especially with the pinup stuff, you don't really care what's inside. Uh, most times I don't. I just like it's a cover buy for me. Um, but all of your books, I cannot wait to look on the inside. Sometimes some of your interior pages are, are cover worthy, you know, oh, thank um, you. because you put so much work into that. So you definitely get your, your more than your money's worth. Minor T does make a huge difference. You are absolutely right, Jason. Yay. Thank you. 100%. Well, I don't want to hold you too long. I think, uh, we got a pretty good idea of what's going on here. You guys definitely need to get in here and pledge this. There's only uh, 62 of 80 left, so there's, what, 18 remaining of this tier, of the highest tier available. Um, I highly advise this one. And then uh, what's cool about this, so a lot of people don't understand this. In Kickstarter, guys, you can claim the lowest tier that you want, right? So you can claim uh, whatever it is, eight or uh Oh, not that one. That's, oh, that's my support. Sorry. You can claim the lowest tier, 13 bucks. And then you're going to get an email from Backer Kit from, through Kickstarter that's going to say, hey, do you want to add anything else to your tier? And then Don or whoever's, uh, I can't imagine you're not managing your own thing. Uh, Don Dan is, <laughs> is going to, of course you are. <laughs> Don will then have stuff that you can buy at checkout. You can basically upgrade your cart and add extra stuff to it. Now, you may not be able to add things if they're sold out, um, but just pledging 13 bucks gets you on the list for the backer kit. Uh, like JP was just talking about, there's uh, the special comic covers you're only gonna be able to get from uh, from eBass. 
Uh, this one here, teaser of this, you'll only be able to get this in backer kit, um, a three book set. And was there something else that'll only be available in the backer kit also, Don? Um, we're planning to do a skyclad calendar. So that will be in backer kit as well. So skyclad calendar and this three cover set for the comic that's going to be included also with everything. Uh, Genesis. Yep. Uh, holy crap. So yeah, you're going to get a lot of stuff. So at least pledge the $13 tier at least so you can get in on all of the bonuses are going to be coming out. Yay. That's and Sean, I want to show you the slip case that you're getting. I think if you scroll down because you did the deity suite. I did. I guess. Yeah. If you go a little further down, maybe it's in here. A little further down. Oh yeah, the deity suite. So yours is gonna come in a slip case. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited about the slip case. I'm excited too now. I didn't even know this. <laughs> this is how you pay attention. <laughs> oh, this slip case is gonna be beautiful. You know what? I can't wait to have you someday when when COVID is over or when people can move again. I'm gonna have you remark that for me right there. Good. Remarks are coming. Sean spotted a white space. Uh, yep. <laughs> you should know better than to leave white space on your stuff because I'm just gonna have you remark. But you know what? That also I I could also see you signing it right there and you know at a convention when these come out, get these, protect them, put them in plastic, and then bring them to a con. Have Don sign it in pink right there. He has a very beautiful signature. That's what I want to. Right there, fantastic. I love it. Yes, man, I am so excited um, about this, Don. Me too. And thank you so much, Sean. This is really, really awesome of you. No, I, man, I wish I, I missed these original art. Shame on me for that. I was too slow. Well, congrats to the dudes who did get the original art or girls, guys or gals. That's fantastic. Wow. Okay, guys. So here you go. This is the art of. Divinica, number one. It's already been a how many issues? Six, uh, five, don't you? Is it six? Five. I'm five. working on six right now. Oh, so okay, working on six. interiors. So yeah. five issues have already been done. Um, a couple things I want to address that I hear people criticize a lot. A lot of people who criticize art books as they call them cash grabs. Um, I understand the thinking behind that. You're just selling a bunch of recycled art that's already been published. This is 1 million percent not the case for this at all. A couple points I want to make. Uh, first off, there's been five issues of this already. Five issues. There's so much art that I'm sure has been done for this. I know because I've seen some of it that's never been published. So you're going to get a lot of stuff that's never been published before. Um, you're getting original art on every single one of these covers. Yep. It's wow. all there's new art all throughout. All throughout, you're getting new writing from J.P. Roth. Yep. Uh, it's And it's not throwaway garbage art. I mean, look at this. This is quality new material. This is fantastic. This is hours and hours of production, uh, hours, days and days, weeks, probably, knowing you guys, probably a couple months to put this together. Yes. Talking about <laughs> it, thinking about it, going back and forth. I I love it. I love it. Okay, so we got some guys. Here's hi. Billy saying hi. What's up, Billy? Um, Jeff says hello. He's having technical difficulties. Hello, Jeff. But that's okay. Uh, Joseph, the Marine Slipcase rest. <laughs> yep, that's funny. Got it. What's going on? Effing new guy collector. How's everyone doing? We got uh, Don talking about some cool stuff today. Awesome job, Don. You're one of the best and an awesome person. Yes, she is. Oh, thank you, Daniel. We always argue about who one of the sweetest people in comics are, and you're always the winner, Don. You're like the sweetest person in comics. Everybody Thank loves you. you. And someone someone says like, "Oh, Don's doing something." They go, "Oh my god, I love her. She's so sweet. She's the nicest person." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right. So here you go, guys. Eight. So the real number here it's in Canadian. So eighty three thousand. The next unlock is at ninety. So they're only just. Just uh, about $6,200, $6,100 away from yep. being unlocked. So is back, Sean. She can come on for the end. Oh, cool. She said she's backstage. Yay, Hello. Joe's back. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> it was nice to listen to all the sweet things about Dawn. 
<laughs> Jimmy's back. So uh, we were just wrapping up here talking about the 83,000. I didn't even realize a couple things. Don pointed out to me with the tier that I pledged, I'm getting the slipcase, um, which is right here. Super <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Yes. And then, you know what? I'll get this triple signed. Don here. <laughs> JP right there on the side. Eric has a good signature for right there. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and Sean's personal collection, <laughs> which is awesome. This is so oh, cool. Thank you, Sean. Yeah. I think you're going to love the Genesis book so much. It's going to oh, be. I'm, I'm super excited about it. Um, <laughs> it's it's ridiculous. And I get to pick 10 prints. This is going to be great. So we were talking about um, everybody should at least pledge 13 bucks because you're going to be uh, – it's like you're entered into the contest to mm -hmm. get into the backer kit yeah. so you can uh, add stuff. Um, I explained to them in Kickstarter, it's you don't just get what you pledge. This thing called backer kit runs and allows you to upgrade your cart to whatever else you want to add in there, whatever you guys put in there that they can check out at the end. So you can really pledge 13 bucks and wind up spending like a thousand bucks if you want to because you can add a ton of extra stuff in backer kit which is fantastic <laughs> like your own private fancy store yeah it really is <laughs> um, and a lot of people don't see some kickstarters the final number will be you know you guys are going to hit 90 hundred thousand but you could get another 20 30 40 50 through backer kit um, and those numbers are never published. So, you know, when we talk amongst ourselves, like, how much did you get from backer kit? People are like, oh, <laughs> it's like, oh my God, that's so great because it really is a measure of, you know, the dollar works, guys. You speak with your money. When you back something like this, <laughs> backer kits are dangerous. Yes, they are. <laughs> right, Carmen. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, you really do speak with your money because when you contribute to something like this, you're telling the community, not just, uh, Don and JP, you're telling the entire comic community, I like this kind of stuff. I want more of this kind of stuff. So if you see some garbage out there that you don't like on Kickstarter and you don't back it, but you do back something that's absolutely beautiful and so much thought goes into it, like the freaking rings on the calendar, for Christ's sakes. I mean, they're putting thought into that. When you have that kind of attention to detail, you're really showing what you want to see more of. Because I mean, we all talk. Everybody talks to each other. We're all friends. It's a very yeah. close knit community in the in the comic world. It really is. So, I highly advise contributing to this, guys. I, you saw what I just did. I'm not just you know speaking on my ass. I'm actually back in what I believe in. So, I advise you guys do the same. This is this is great. I'm happy to be a fan. I'm happy to be a part of this, uh, supporting it. And guys, thanks for allowing me to to talk about this on the YouTube channel too. This has been great. Thank you for having us, Thank Sean. You, Sean, for having us and for supporting. Thank you, Good for you, Chaotic. Yes, One Chaotic, do it, my man. Get in there. Six, Erotic way. One of each. <laughs> this is one. Six twenty-five. Jump in on this one. It's definitely, you get the most bang for your buck. That's for sure. It's definitely the most in there. Absolutely. And Sean, I do have a question. Has anyone ever done it where a brand new comic book release that no one has ever seen is coming out in backer kit? Um, no, that's kind of uh, crazy, actually. <laughs> I think so, too. Right. OK, so that was it's, it's like it's crazy, it's crazy. Cool, though. Most people would say, hey, I have this brand new comic with these amazing covers from freaking eBass. Right. <laughs> like some of these amazing covers. This needs to be front and center featured on page one of my highest tier of my Kickstarter, yeah. you're actually using it in backer kit as a thank you to everybody who contributed even 13 bucks. That's incredible. That's okay. Really good. I didn't know if it was a thing or not, but I was like, how cool oh, would it be if everyone who sponsored was able to chase this thing that no one else in the world is going to be able to get. So yeah, I it, thought that it's yay. not a thing. It's definitely not a thing. <laughs> well, well, you're making it a thing. So we're in, uh, doing some groundbreaking stuff here. So it's great because I view it as, you, you know, and I'm sure you're thinking kind of the same thing is it's, it's like a thank you to everybody who yeah. uh, contributed, even, th even the smallest tier, you have a chance to get this super limited to, uh, what'd you say it was going to be limited to? A hundred. A hundred. A hundred. Only a hundred. So guys, be pay attention to your emails when the backer kits go out. You might want to follow 
follow JP and, and Dawn on their Instagrams on social media. Go follow all their stuff so you get little videos and hints saying, Becker kit's going out soon, guys. Um, so you can get Yeah, we'll make a video too, I think, and talk about it and post it on our social medias and show the EBAS cover and show Dawn has three beautiful covers too. They're the sketch variants of some of the things you can get in print. The only one that's gonna be new, never seen though, is the Eric cover. We're gonna have seen other versions of the other covers. Yeah, Great. but we do have one big never seen before launch. So oh. we'll be talking about that like crazy. I'm excited. Yep, sneaky <laughs> wonderfulism. <laughs> Thank, you, Thank, Thank you, Rob. Rob. <laughs> sneaky wonderfulism. Oh, thanks for, thanks for the five bucks, Tom. Don, <laughs> person in comments, she looks up from the art she's working on. Yeah, yeah they're right. giving me me uh, crap because I uh, have quite an aggressive resting RBF. It's called <laughs> resting bitch face. <laughs> okay. And the first time he met me, Joe had to keep like you know trying to poke me and be like, Don, look up, Don, smile, say hello. <laughs> so, you get that first. Marry herself at a show. What do you yeah, want? She, oh, hi. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like this, you know, when someone smiles and frowns, she'll be looking down, making the most intense face, and then she'll look and be like, hi. It's just like <laughs> completely polar opposite. It's hilarious. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I have to get that on camera one day when she's drawing. Like, don't. Yeah, I mean, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Frank, oh, thank you. What's up, guys? No, I'm not doing anything. I'm just talking to them about the great job that they've done. <laughs> I'm just I'm just a dude on camera talking about stuff, about all the work they put into this beautiful work of art. So Don and or for, uh, Frank and Rosie, get on there and claim pledge. Don't miss out, guys. I know I know Frank's gonna want uh one of one of these for sure. <laughs> not all of them. Once you explain to him what it is, Rosie. Frank is so cool. He's the only blind comic book collector I've ever known. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Wow. He's, he's a great guy. His wife and him collect together. Wow. Really cool. Resting bitch I face. think we also okay. have the only full Don nude that's not from the side, <laughs> if I'm right, in this collection. Yeah, it's the first time I've drawn a full front nude and in my life. In the, <laughs> uh, that will be in one of the comic sets that you can get from the backer the kit. Is that Full nude from Dawn, which she's oh. done one from the side, but that doesn't count. This is a forward facing nude. <laughs> First time. Right, right there. <laughs> it's up yeah. top a little bit. Um, it's called, yeah, Ocean Origin. So the full version of that in sketch will be on one of the Genesis comics in the backer kit that you can buy as part of those special limited 100 sets. She actually has two. Life's Breath is going pretty far down. For oh, for sure. It's just I drew Ocean Origin first. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> you still got the hip there covering things up on this. Yeah, one. a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but this one, she ain't hiding that. No. She still has <laughs> the leg up. She still has a little bit of modesty. Don just There's couldn't. a little bit of demure. <laughs> demure. But that's pretty special for people. I mean, I remember Eric's first nude cover. It's definitely a thing. And it's not really, you know, a big digital nude. It's really the sketch and very much honoring Aphrodite because she's always depicted naked. Yeah. Um, so it was kind of in the spirit of that. Yay. N naked, naked from Dawn. Sky cloud from Dawn. Nice. That's great. <laughs> Took me 10 great. years. Yeah, we finally got her to do it. Good job. <laughs> We all benefit from your persistence, so thank you. Thank you. I feel like it's a, I deserve a hand. Unfortunately, you cannot pay with Bitcoin. Uh, they don't take Bitcoin on on, on backer kit or uh, Kickstarter, Kickstarter yet. Kickstarter. I my wish website, they did. You can go to Commerce League Comics and pay with uh, your cryptocurrency of choice, but you can't pay here, unfortunately. Yeah, That's unfortunately. so cool, Sean. Well done. Yeah. I know. I love that. Yeah, except uh, crypto payment. Absolutely. It's the way of the future. Yeah, Don, Sean, I'm part of the Doge army with you. I'm, I'm <laughs> loving my Doge. Me <laughs> too. I'm loving it. Loving it. Rough, yeah. rough. I've sold it and rebought it and sold and rebought it three times over so far. So beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful. There's so many more. I, I could I could go on and on. I spend hours a night while everyone's sleeping. I'm there learning about crypto. It's like a game. It's so fun. Me too. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm just. Yeah. That's super cool. <laughs> 
and it goes, it's such a rabbit hole. It just goes, it goes and yeah. goes. Like comics. Yeah. <laughs> it never ends. Yes. <laughs> Go down good, the rabbit hole. <laughs> which is a good thing. Don's <laughs> coming over to the dark side. We've been expecting you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she's, been, she's been teasing us for so long with those uh from the side mm -hmm. leg up, up. <laughs> yeah. eric's is actually a really amazing nude too she's nude but not nude it's it's so incredible because like the belt is still there the skirt is still there it's it's just got so much more to that nude drawing um it looks so beautiful yeah, too detail. the see-through cloth and stuff up close i mean the detail that he put into just the cloth alone is crazy pretty it's amazing yeah, yeah i, I never really understood can. how people can draw like sheer like how do you draw someone covered up yeah. in something but it's still like see-through it's amazing i really i really do believe uh i tell i tell eric this all the time i really do believe he's he's probably the best artist of uh this generation i think yeah. so too i really do and believe. then don that's very sweet. I, I, Eric is mad respect sensei. <laughs> it was his first time ever using colors like this as well. He had never done a Copic gold and he had never done a Copic purple. And you just would not know it because he came out like perfection. Yeah. He, it's he, crazy. Like he, he just made up the color. He had two random colors and it, I was just watching him. We were all watching him on live. Like, what is happening? This is so pretty. <laughs> what is going on? So gorgeous. Yeah, like he can draw light. I don't. I don't understand how people can draw light. You know, I don't. I'm just a fan of the art. I don't create it. Like, I know it's so funny because I give art consultation all the time, and I cannot draw anything. And I'm constantly <laughs> giving artists feedback and and talking about art and what about if we move this and how do we do this and what if this works and what if that works and try this and move this a little bit, but I can't draw crap. <laughs> you have a really good eye, though, Sean. Yeah, I, that's I really what matters. Your your artist eye. We've had some great uh, collabs for sure. Well, definitely. When you have, when you're working with some of the best in the industry, it's easy. I mean, you know. <laughs> it I helps mean. you get a good eye as well. And you can really spot it from a mile away, those good artists. There is a look to them that'll that'll never fail. Carmen says, so jealous of the original art owner of that Ebas Isis. I know you're listening. <laughs> She's exactly. talking to Jeff Monet, who purchased the cover. <laughs> oh, exactly. that's so funny. Yeah, it's really pretty. So I, I recently purchased the original that Eric did from another collector <laughs> and I paid oh, so wow. much for it. I was like, I just, you know, why, why, how did I miss buying this just from Eric when it first came out? You know, it's like now I have to pay double for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful Mary Jane just backed up against the wall with uh, it's really gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, product. wow. But anyway, um, guys, this is so good. Uh, thanks for the time. Uh, I've had you guys hostage here for almost an hour. Thanks for uh, coming on and talking about this. Congratulations. Thank you, Sean. Thank well, you. Congratulations on your success. Let me refresh this real quick. Hey, we got another one. 335. Woo Climb and steady. Yeah. So, yeah, you're 84 Canadian now. So, um, you Getting know, close. Only, only 6,000 Canadian away from uh unlocking that next tier which is like four thousand american so <laughs> ish <laughs> we'll get there yes we'll get there we didn't think we would get anywhere near here and we're the next thing we unlock right dawn is the isis bookmark yes the next yes. thing so isis and magu really pretty up there it is yeah oh yeah and the fish on head one or streams of magic i'm sorry i'll never get that right <laughs> and then, oh, oh me too <laughs> Only the goddesses know what will happen at 100K. <laughs> Not even these goddesses. <laughs> goddesses no. told me right here. <laughs> we don't even know. <laughs> I'm sure we didn't we think we were going to get there. Yeah, so. I'm sure really did ridiculous it. and amazing. Thank uh, you, Sean. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, right, guys. guys. Thank Carmen, you so Rob, much. Joaquin, guys. thank you, guys. So the in the description below is a link to the Kickstarter. I advise get on there. Uh, I highly advise pledging the highest tier, which is five hundred uh, American. You get the best. No deal. Canadian. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, five hundred yeah, American. American. I'm sorry, yeah. Sean. No, it's okay. Five hundred America or six twenty-five uh, Canadian for the Canadians up there. 
and uh, at least get in on the thirteen dollar tier. Uh, anyone can afford thirteen bucks. I mean, that's two. That's like a run to Starbucks. At least get on the thirteen dollar tier because you're going to get a chance to get some amazing stuff only available on Backer Kit. JP has lost her mind, and she is putting exclusive, <laughs> beautiful Eric Basildula covers in the Backer Kit, which is only limited to hundred. That's crazy. You got to get in there so you get those backer kit notifications. And if you've never done a Kickstarter before, this is a this is a perfect one to get to you know what your whistle, pop your tray, whatever you want to call it, and get in there, get the at least the thirteen dollar tier, get the backer kit notification. Uh, you'll get all the updates through from Kickstarter on the process, what's happening. Uh, I'm sure the fulfillment is going to happen in no time with these. Um, I know your work ethic. I know you, you have tons of experience shipping out tons and tons of books from your website um, and prints all the time. So no doubt my Don mind has got it on lock. We are going to have the most efficient shipping anyone has ever had. Don is so particular about everything down to the scent and how it's packed and how it's put together. So you're going to get a very fancy package because Don's doing it. <laughs> Well, that's so sweet, <laughs> True. Yeah. And it'll be right on time. I'm always getting corrections because Dawn fulfills her website faster than mine. So I'm always getting corrections from people like, hey, I already got Dawn's package. I'm like, well, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, be great. Yeah, no doubt it's going to be fulfilled um, with no problem. So there's literally no risk to getting this. Um, it's going to be fulfilled. It's going to ship. There's not even a doubt that it would not be not be done. That's ridiculous. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. Would be perfect. Half, I wouldn't be surprised if half of these were already printed. To be honest with you guys, um, <laughs> <laughs> knowing these two. <laughs> so, um, all right. So, hey, thanks a lot again, uh, Don and JP. Thank you guys so much. Um, good luck. Let's hope this thing continues to crush it for you. Um, We'll be, I'll be sharing this out all over. If you're watching this in the future and you missed the live feed, that's cool. The links are still in the description to go get out there and contribute to this beautiful campaign and get yourself some highly, highly collectible works of art. Um, thanks again, Don and Joe, and we'll